So Deeks, it's always disappointing to exit the FA Trophy. What was your thoughts on that overall? Um, yeah, it was a tough one to take. Um, you know, we've created numerous chances and I think, you know, to be fair to the keeper, he's probably one of the best displays I've seen for a long while from a goalkeeper in terms of shot stopping. Um, he, he was he was excellent, to be fair. We put pressure on, uh, we just couldn't get the ball in the net. Uh, obviously, we scored two goals. Um, but I think sometimes, you know, you have the performances where the levels aren't there. Um, you probably can't explain why, um, you know, but we had a few players out today. It's no excuse for the team that went out there was more than good enough to go and win that game. And full credit to them, they kept battling, they kept working. Um, you know, they rode the luck a little bit, but ultimately they took their chances at the end of being ruthless and, and third place and full credit. You know, they obviously won the game and, and that's something we've got to look at now, moving into the training week next week, uh, work on a few things, understand why, watch the video back. Um, but like I said to the lads, I don't think you've actually played that bad. It's just the moments in games where we're switching off. Um, you know, the third goal was probably a perfect example. Uh, Bit that didn't stop. He was on the move. And he got his rewards of it, cannon off the post and a rebound. So it's the little moments in games that we've got to be better at. Um, but you know, on the whole, I think if you look at the actual performance, we've created enough chances to win three games. Um, but ultimately, they scored three, we scored two. So bring the old cliche and full attention to the league now. It is a of Borough away next week. Bit towards the top of the table. What are your thoughts going into that one? Obviously, I think that takes care of itself in terms of the magnitude of that game. You know, you're playing against, um, you know, obviously, like I said, we're going to have to work on a few things in training. Hopefully, we will we'll have some players back that's not cup tied. Um, we will also have some players hopefully coming back from injury, um, which will strengthen us again. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a tough game. No one to lose it, like I say, every week, every game in this league. Very, very tough. See today, teams want to come here. Um, you know, Wilkinson Towns will be a club. Uh, they'll give their all when they come here. Uh, we've got to do the same when we go away. To Radcliffe next week, um, and there's no panic, you know. The, the day sometimes football has that you, you just don't get the rub of the green or the look. Um, I think today was what we like a solid, most solid performance defensively. Um, I think they've had three shots, four shots on goal, scored three goals. So that's something we've got to address this week in terms of a desire to block crosses and shots, which they have done to be fair. Lancaster away, Bamber Bridge, Baseford, they, they've shown that in abundance. So I'm not going to hit the panic button in terms of. <laughs> You know, performance-wise, it, it sometimes it happens in football. I'm not going to turn on the players. They give everything out there. Um, you know, some of the players play a lot of minutes that haven't played as much. So, yeah, moving into to Radcliffe next week, we're just going to work on a few things in training, what we feel that we need to be better at. Um, but I've got full faith in this squad and this team. Um, I think, you know, they've, they've shown that in the past kind of five games since we've come in. Uh, so I'm going to put it down a little bit. So you briefly mentioned on, uh, touched on it, but quite a few players were unavailable today through injury and, and being cup tied as well. Can you give an update on those players who are out on injury? How long have you got? Um, yeah, so obviously Deck um, is getting closer. Uh, it's not a sore with his ankle. Um, Dicko, we're probably waiting to scan for him and see where he's at. Um, yeah, you've obviously tied suspended, um, which will be one more game. Um, obviously the three players, Sam Minks and um, Alex, obviously cup tied, but Minks is carrying a bit of an injury at the minute as well. Um, so yeah, we're hoping we get some players back this week. We're definitely going to have two in, in Alex and Sam, obviously cup tied. Um, and then obviously we're kind of waiting on Ty suspension to finish this weekend. And we'll see how the, the, the boys are that are injured at the moment. And finally, local lad Alex Marshall has returned to the club. Player who's played on the year multiple times um, here and at Long Eaton. How happy are you to have him? Yeah, I think he gives us a different dynamic. Um, very similar to their number nine today. Um, very physical. Um, just does the horrible stuff very well, but you know, in his own right, he's been promoted four times in four years um, and scored a lot of goals. And I think, you know, giving him the opportunity to come back here, play this level of football, gives us a different dynamic up front. Um, obviously, with Ty as well, you know, two two really good strikers. But I think we're pleased to have him. Um, you know, his his mentality and the way he is around the changing as well will also lift those around him. Um, so yeah, we're pleased to have him, and hopefully he'll hit the ground running.